Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 58th episode of the Exploring Antinatalism podcast, a podcast all about the subject of antinatalism created by antinatalists. My name is Amanda Oldfan Sukunik, formerly known as Forever Wolf Films on YouTube, and today I'm speaking with filmmaker, YouTuber, and director of the new short film, Why It's Better Not to Exist, antinatalism mini-movie, The Truth Catcher, also known as Dan Dillon. Alas, nature is designed to bestow upon you an immense amount of suffering. It is written so deeply into the structure of sentient life. It's just, it's just unavoidable. You don't trust us. You don't want to come into existence. With the question that you pose on to me, you are playing Russian roulette with a fully loaded gun, aimed, of course, not at your own heads, but at mine. So why are you so confused about my hesitance to pull the trigger? Why are you so nihilistic? No, I, no, 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 I don't reject your values. I'm trying to serve them the best way possible. I'm your son. But by hinting that the best scenario for us is to go instinct? No, please, live. Find some meaning, enjoy the ride if you can. The question is not would you rather be dead, but would you rather have not existed? I prefer this conversation never existed. Yeah. It's hard to swallow the conclusion that it's better not to have been. So you want this? Welcome to the Exploring Antinatalism podcast, Dan. Yeah, thank you once again for having me on. That's a that's a pre pleasure and yeah, honor for me to to be here. And that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> the pleasure and honor is all mine. Uh, Dan, I discovered your work really only extremely recently due to your recently released short film, Why It's Better Not to Exist, Antinatalism mini movie, which absolutely blew my mind. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And I just want to say what a pleasure it's been watching your entire channel over the last week or so um, and getting to know you better on Telegram as well. You really are an incredibly talented guy, very positive, very funny, charming, a uh, very productive person. And yet... Despite all of that, you've come to have a very firm understanding, I think, uh, uh, of something like antinatalism and against the creation of new life. And having watched all of your videos together within such a, a short span of time, I really feel you've created like a portrait of a, of a life that I think is not very easy for people that hate antinatalism or antinatalists to deal with. Um, you, you know, you, you don't fit that stereotypical mold of what like people think of as somebody that's interested in this topic. Um, and so for that reason alone, I think your work is very important because I think you present a real challenge to those that have a negative perception of who an antinatalist can be, or at least who can be attracted to or inspired by this philosophy. In, indeed. The, the thing is that like, just even, uh, you know, going through your podcasts, it, it was quite uh, like a discovery for me that actually those guys, they're adequate. <laughs> they're so intelligent, wonderful. They're so friendly and, you know, full of fun. And, and, and uh, they're, they're, they're people with whom I wouldn't mind to, you know, hang out. And yeah, so it was quite a discovery for me as well. Yeah, antinatalism is definitely filled with, with some really, you know, interesting and highly accomplished people. And I, I think that's something that a lot of people don't realize. Um, Ab absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, really, really, really excited to speak with you all about antinatalism today and your work. Um, but first, just a few questions that I, I, I tend to ask all or most of my guests. So who is the truth catcher, also known as Dan Dillon? All right. Uh, that's a nice question. So basically, it's uh, some sort of character that is completely lost. He read everything, every possible philosophical book possible. He experienced different uh, spiritual and philosophical and any like self self-help self-development any possible worlds any possible you know fields of knowledge that uh, humanity managed to create and yeah and that person is completely lost though he he experienced that he embraced that and at the end of the day he's like at the end of that podcast I was just thinking like what, what am I supposed to tell you? Like, I have no idea. I have, I, I am like, I am, I am such an empty thing. Like I'm just, just, just a dump, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you, you introduced me so wonderfully, right? But the way I feel, for example, right? My entire journey was so futile. So indeed resourceful, um, but so futile at, at the end. So yeah, I mean, that's how I end up indulging into anti-natalism, anti right? Because it kind of summed up wonderfully all my excitement, but excitement about 
complete disappointment of life. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, the, so this is th that person. And and regarding that, uh, apart from that, I'm 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 very like tender, very touchy, very sensitive person. The word, like I I I feel <laughs> how to say like I'm very into classical music and stuff like that. So I'm I'm just like combining the world of philosophy, the world of high like super duper uh, uber intelligence, and yes, cinematography design and things like that. So that's that's what hits the spots for me. Yeah, I, you're, you're, you will talk more about this uh, later on, but your your journey into all these different ideas, you know, you know, you and you you detail that in, in uh, so well, like in, in all of your videos I and mean, all this stuff with spirituality you've done. And, and it, it's just so fascinating to see sort of like where you've ended up at the end of that journey <laughs> uh, yeah, for, yep. <laughs> for, for sure. Um, Dan, why are you or are you not an antinatalist? So there, okay, I was, I was, I was preparing myself from that, for that sort of question. So there are two ways how I can really reply to that question. The first is like, I'm nothing. I'm like, I, I, I don't belong to anything, right? It's, it's like a long story, right? It's, it's like a very philosophical way, appro like approach to explaining how I feel. But there is another short way that I prefer to use that I would say that I am an, an anti-natalist because, well, I would agree with everything you said. And uh, while listening to your podcast and while uh, reading different books and, you know, like just uh, indulging into in, uh, the entire field, I just realized that I had this feeling pretty much the same when I first discovered uh, the entire wor world of like veganism, vegetarianism and stuff. And I was like, wow, like what a spark inside. What a, what a, what, 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 what like I, I, I get, I, I got this, you know, like genuine energy. Um, that I would say that this is some sort of my thing, you know. So I, I would, I would, I would. At the end of the day, I would, I wouldn't belong to any, any, any movement. But to make this life just easier, uh, I would say yes. I am like I am vegetarian and I am an anti-natalist. So yeah. So it, yeah. It, it, you you found it to be like really inspiring. I mean, um, what I'm hearing, yeah. Yes, in a way, like. I wouldn't say like entirely inspiring because it's it's a very pessimistic approach. To sure, that. sure. But, no, but what is it to be inspired about? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. But definitely something moving, touching, and something that uh, yeah, absolutely like cre creates certain energy inside, certain uh, yes, yeah, certain resource inside that I can later maybe use for something. Who knows? Yes, I agree. I've had a, I've had a similar experience. How did you originally get interested in the subject of antinatalism? Like, what was that original, you know, thing that uh, that led you to it? You know. All right, all right. So, uh, to make a long story short, I'll just break it down. I started with uh, self improvement, right? Then I indulged into philosophies. Then I indulged into spirituality. Then I indulged into anti-spirituality, then I indulged into truth-seeking, then I indulged into hardcore philosophy, philosophy, like existential philosophy. And then just because I started making videos and all this stuff, uh, yes, people are starting just texting me and I realized that I'm not alone. And one of uh, uh, one person just texted me and we started just, you know, just text each other quite, quite often. And then eventually we became friends and, um, and then that person, he he has like a huge gallery, seven, 700 books or like even more, I guess. Yeah. And one day he just sent this book to me and I was like, better never to have been like, what the, what is this? Yeah. By the way, thank you, Bisham. Yeah. I know you, you, you'll check it. Um, and, and I was like, all right, let me, let me just, you know, like put it uh, on my list and forget about it for a moment. But then I started reading, um, Thomas Ligotti, uh, he, he, he written that book yeah. called, um, the name of the book is, uh, I guess, The Conspiracy Against the Human Race, which I found very, <laughs> very interesting. And, and, I, and I really like his style and stuff. And he mentioned Benatar once again. I was like, all right, that's, that's another sign. So then, yeah, I started reading uh, David Benatar's books and I read Better Never to Have Been in the 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 human predicament and that's it and and I, I i swear i didn't know about your movement i didn't know about anything i just i was like oh my gosh i need to create a movie about that and and i just i i, I just do remember i was 
I was really, I was sitting at some coffee shop and I was reading and, and then I found this small line that imagine if you could speak with the mind of your like unborn baby or something. It was something, it, it wasn't exactly in his book, but it, it was something triggered uh, this thought inside me. And that's it. From that perspective, I got such like a ton of energy. I got so productive, so inspired. And, and yeah, and that's how it, you know, started seriously for me. Wow. Okay. Is that, was that a line in Ligotti's book or, or I'm, I'm not sure, honestly. No, no, no. It was in uh, Benatar's book. It was ben in, in Benatar's uh, book. In, yeah. uh, mm, better never to have been in, in that book. I see. I see. So how long, you know, in between like finding Ligotti, finding Benatar and then the creation of the movie, like what, what was the timeline of that process? All right. So it took me, I guess, up to two and a half months. Uh, it was quite a, quite quite a journey right because yeah. you need to find well first of all you need to persuade some girl to act in the movie that is against body <laughs> body procreation right and that was like i thought it's just impossible it will be just impossible but uh then uh so, so i live in turkey in a small city it's it's like small town like maybe three hundred thousand people so quite rural like very chill one like small bali here and 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 that was like i felt like it will be it will be quite a quite quite a hard thing to do, but I just texted my my friend and she replied, "Yeah, I actually felt like that would wow. be so." She said to me like, "Oh yeah, I felt like it it would be better if I never been here, right?" I was like, "Oh my gosh, all right, we have one we have one um, participant already." And then there was there was a huge uh, problem to find that guy in the telly, right? So he. I was like, where do I find him? So then I realized that uh, I do remember one YouTube channel uh, and I discovered it because it is my subscribers YouTube channel. And then, yeah, like step by step, it just it just started happening, you know, without any real um, effort from my side. I mean, I wanted it from like from my gut, like from 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 my gut, but from 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 my core. But yeah, and then I, we found this 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 huge house. Then we found the cinematographer because I didn't shoot this uh, movie. There there was a guy that shot it. So yeah, it was uh, quite quite a journey. Yeah, and then editing the editing part is just like it's beyond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was hard. That's a pretty quick turnaround, though. I mean, in two yeah. months, you know, you had this really incredible professionally done. I mean, had you ever done narrative work like that before? I mean, a lot of your other videos are sort of like they're sort of video essays about yourself. I don't know if that's a fair yes, way yeah. of. Yeah. So for with this video, I, I, I just I got fed up with like speaking directly about my feelings, about anything that I think. And, and, and it was just I was like, no, another this like tedious video and I don't know the way I think and stuff. And I was like, I want to try something better. I want to try express myself, but through more complicated, through more, you know, like profound way. And through movie, I, I, I found it it's so cool. You can you, you basically have different characters and and instead of saying it directly uh you can speak through so many different people and and that, that i found it quite inspiring and and challenging and that's what i guess turned me on overall amazing so would you consider this your first like film proper like short film yeah <laughs> wow yeah Incredible. i mean it's 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 it's, it's it, it, it's a movie full of folly from the perspective of uh, script, I would say, because I, I mean, I got lots of feedback. But anyways, that's that, that took me two weeks to write that script, right? That took me quite, wow. uh, and and yeah, I mean, this, it, I had so many notes, you know, like like a proper screenwriter. That that was that was a journey, yeah. That that's incredible. I mean, yeah, I I I um I was gonna say this sort of later on down the road, but it you know again having watched like all of your channel in one week, it definitely sort of feels like an evolution, you know, of your, of your content in a lot of, and that's not to say that the rest of the content is, is de-evolved or something like that, but especially considering <laughs> that first film, you know, on your channel, which is sort of about antinatalism. It's about being child-free and then yeah, yeah. seeing this, like, you know, this, this narrative piece grow out of that. It's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing to watch that progression from afar, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. So much. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, again, in many of your videos, you detail this very intense journey that you've taken through different kinds of philosophy, spiritual, spirituality, even yoga. <laughs> that, was, that was funny the way you said that yeah, in that yeah. one video. Um, can you tell me a little bit about, you know, 
your interest, we've, you said already, like your interest in philosophy and all the places that it's taken you. Um, I mean, what was it about finding antinatalism that was so different compared to all of that? All right, all right. So first of all, I... I found I found it so cool that it is so dark in a way. So I'm I'm a, like I'm a very pers- positive person. Look at me, I'm just smiling all the time. Yeah. So I, I my my life is full of joy, and I, I and I would say that I'm happy at the end of the day. But for some reason, I feel that in darkness there is way the, the darkness is deeper, right? So it's like I, I'm naturally like more attracted to the truth, uh, more truthful. I would say perspectives and um, yeah so that's that's what really turned me on because I was like oh my gosh someone managed to sum it up that way and I'm not alone because I, I because I was like you know burying all this inside me and I thought if I just let it out uh, people think it will think that I just I'm just not like completely that I'm just too pessimistic and I keep receiving that well, like because I like I bump into different people here while living in Turkey, right? And they're not connected with anything uh, I am connected with. And they all say like, no, it's too pessimistic. Like, come on, there are so many things to discover. Like, yeah, hey, hey, you haven't yet tried this and that and that, and even that, you know? So uh, for me, it was like, I, I, I found so expressed and so satisfied with just reading that. And it, like that's that's how I see life, you know. And and when you when you bump into something that expresses you so wonderfully, yeah, just it just just joy, pure joy. Strange though, but joy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I I completely understand what you mean. I mean, was that I mean when you when you finally started to reject spirituality in in favor of philosophical pessimism, uh, was that yeah, was yeah. that diff- I mean, you've already spoken a little bit about this, but was that difficult for people around you to understand? Uh, yes, yes, they, yeah. it's okay. So it's like from the perspective of understanding of, of overall, like of people around me, right? Uh, they're all right with self help, no conflict at all. Spirituality, good. Like uh, some, so let, let's take um, the, the law of attraction, right? Like positive thinking, they're all good. But the further you go, the, 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 the more they say, oh, no, 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 that's just too much. That's just too much. But from my perspective, the further you go, like the more like closer you are to the truth, right? That everything is just utter nonsense. And exactly. Basically, yeah. 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 It just, it just, as, as you summed it up in your videos as well, it's just, it's just random utter. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't want to like swear here, but that's what oh, I you can. want go to Go for do. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's just, just a ra- ra- ran- ra- random, like nonsense, bloody, bloody, bloody. Uh, 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 it's, it's absurd, right? Our existence is yeah. completely absurd. And, and I guess the, the closer you get to this uh, exact point, the, the more you're familiar with this anti-natalistic approach to, to life, because it's kind of like, you know, it expresses your, fu- not expresses, but like, um, it's, it, it kind of explains you your future, because, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I personally don't know how will I be able to, even if, let's say, I, I have a wonderful relationship and I deeply in love and all is good, right? I just think from time, how will I be able to look in the eyes of my kid with all this knowledge that I have in my head? I just don't understand. I, it, 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 it will be like unethical in a way, though I don't, I mean, I, I don't know what is ethic itself, but that's how I will feel probably. Yeah. But no. Yeah. I would feel exactly the same way. Absolutely. I, I wanted to mention, I really liked your videos about uh, UG, uh and I'm probably oh, cool. saying his name Krishnamurti. wrong. Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti, yeah. Um, he he does sometimes get brought up, you know, in antenatal circles. And, and I'm personally, but mm-hmm. I'm personally not aware of um, you know, him ever saying anything against procreation. But I mean, he's almost there, right? Like, you know, he's, he's not that far off. And I mean, the way Absolutely. that he assesses life, you know, should lead one, you know, theoretically to reject the creation of more of it. And so, and but but a lot of uh, there's there's a lot of examples of people like this where they're very close. And so I, I I'm curious if you you have any thoughts on like why there's this blind spot, you know, to being able to b- critique procreation for a lot of these guys who otherwise you know are really negative about existence. Why do you think that might be? 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can can you could you please explain what is what, what is blind that's blind spot in your in because I didn't really get it. Oh what sure do you mean sure by sure. Blind spot? Well, like yeah. like like if you're already uh, so negative about existence uh -huh. about life, uh -huh. like you you would you would assume like one would assume coming from an antinatalist mm -hmm. perspective that it would just be like second nature to then go ahead and critique. Ah uh, okay okay okay. Yeah. So I I guess the the. the... <laughs> Like I would speak about Krishnamurti. I think he, um, and use it as an example, right? Use him as an example. I think he was, he was just, he was utter. He didn't really mind anything. He he had no problem with nature. He th basically, I quote, "Your body is only interested in eating and fucking." Yeah. And I, yeah. So so he, I don't really think that he 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 saw any problem. He saw he saw the the problem of our of the um, of. I think he has certain he had certain conflict with the core of um, every human being, but not with the human being as a as an org as 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 a biological thing, you know, like as a as some sort of uh, creature, you know. So th that's maybe why. And and I have a, like I have okay. Uh, I, I will share it sh share it as well with my friend. Hello, Jonathan. Uh, he he as well. He. He said that he said it, and he's into like he's he, he he realized it all. He knows that there is really no sense that we're just. Uh, I quote him: "We're we're nothing but a shit factory, and all we produce is shit." And <laughs> doesn't matter. Even we we uh, now what we're doing is just producing another, you know, like poo basically, right? But anyways, he he decided to procreate, so he he's waiting for a baby, and and in in his case, he's super against everything, but he doesn't see anything wrong with uh, yeah you know just procreate um i personally i wouldn't say that i see something wrong but deep in, in inside me i know that i have zero energy for that this is just not for me yeah i i have no problems with kids i think i I'll, i i think i would i would be a great father but just i don't think i i, I shall be one yeah, and that's that's perfectly fair. I mean, I have no problem with kids either. I really love children. I think they're wonderful, yeah, wonderful, yeah. wonderful people. Yeah. They can be anyway. Um, but you know, for for the child free side of my antinatalism, I, I I just don't want to do any of that. But that's a yeah. that's a very I think that's a very good um, explanation that you gave of maybe why, you know, they don't end I, up I, going towards towards critiquing procreation. That they don't. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. Because. Yeah. Some people they just don't have any problems with uh, the way nature works, right? They they just yeah. fully accept it and they're like, yeah, whatever, it's good, it's good. Uh, yeah, right, so. right. No, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. So you've been actively doing professional photography and film and video for like a long time now, uh, from what I understand. Uh, often shooting videos for other people for free, from what I understand. Uh, all right. So yeah, uh, yeah I, I just start. Uh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. So no, so this is not my profession, like making videos. Okay. This is my passion, right? Yeah. I don't make money that way, but I used to do it for free as a, when I was into spirituality, right? You know this. Uh, I I need I wanted to be bodhisattva. You know? <laughs> if you're familiar with that, I guess you are. <laughs> sure, sure, yes. So of course. I I I needed to serve this world. Uh, I needed to 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 make this place a better place in a way. So that was my way because I I had this skill. I I know I knew that you know people people need certain help with videos and photos. So that's how I um yeah so that's how i i guess started and that's how i justified uh, wasting money on my first camera <laughs> so, <laughs> that, yeah. okay yeah yeah so how how long did you do that for i mean when did you, when did your passion for this you know for film and video start uh like as a kid i just I, I no no i think it's i, I just started mm. I definitely was into design and art since since the beginning of my existence. But uh, when I realized that I actually like actually feel something when I hold the camera, it, I guess it was about six seven years ago. Um, just taking picture of uh, yeah different people, I was like, for some reason, I mean, I, I feel like I understand better than like re like rest of my friends and stuff. So I, I decided to give it give it a go, you know. And yeah, I bought my first camera and, and, and then, yeah. And then, then I started making video, uh, not, not just videos, but I started uh, getting into street photography, catching different people without asking their permission to take photo. So for some reason it was like, oh, challenge, challenge. Yeah, I would, I would like to 
try. So yeah, uh, but then it, it, at the end of the day, it, it, I I got to the point with, that it was all such a boring thing to do for me. And then I discovered YouTube and then I discovered I actually love to use my voice and I love acting. And this is way more important for me than shooting other people. And then, uh, yeah, like life slowly, slowly adjusting toward me being a writer, director, actor, uh, rather than cinematographer, though I know, like, like I, I know how to do that, uh, like just for YouTube, right? Not, not that I can call myself a cinematographer, but videographer, yeah, for sure. And, and was the Truth Catcher your first YouTube channel? Have you, have you had others in the past or? Uh, yes, that's my first, my, my first laugh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, <laughs> and the funny thing that I, I started with this, sorry for uh, No, for no, no, well, I started like in a, very, in a very positive note, you know? I was like, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll preach mindfulness. I'll, <laughs> I'll preach, you know, some, some, I will preach that light that I feel inside. But then, yeah, I just like, gave up completely and indulged into something that, uh, that I feel that I am, this is my, my field. This is, this is me. Right. So not, not yeah. that, uh, not, not, not something that I got. Um, I think like, mm, <laughs> I get just influenced by certain people. And when I just unbiased myself and just, I just realized that, Oh, actually I'm, I'm, I'm a Jedi and I'm not a Jedi. I'm a, I'm a Sith, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. It's a good way of metaphoring yeah. it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> That's yeah, funny. Yeah. So yeah. Dan, outside of Wikipedia, the word antinatalism is not included in or defined by any dictionary in the world in any language. Mm -hmm. I have twice now camp campaigned to have the word added into the Oxford English Dictionary mm -hmm. to no avail. Uh, and in addition to this, even the Wikipedia definition keeps changing. So do you have any thoughts on how antinatalism should be defined? Uh, how is antinatalism? That's a, that's a tricky question. <laughs> it is. I'm sorry. Uh, so, so no, nah, it's it's. <laughs> I actually amazed by the by, by 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 your ability to combine so many people on your uh yeah YouTube channel and like. <laughs> oh, thank to, you. I, I mean, it's just like I, I have I have no idea how to define it, but uh, like a certain perspective that it's it's not so it's, so it's maybe that it is. <laughs> it's, it's okay it's a philosophy it's definitely a philosophy right it's a philosophy that advocates for a position that by reducing our uh, the amount of people we can make this world a bit more natural I, I don't want to use better but maybe more like pure healthy don't know like um not sure about that it's hard to, to really reply to that question no, no, thank you for your thoughts on that. Well, see, there's, you know, uh, you know, what you're saying about all these different people I'm trying to bring together. I mean, the reason, one of the biggest reasons why I, I am doing that is because there is so much disagreement on what this thing means. I mean, hence the lack of, you know, a true definition and a definition, even what we have keeps on changing. You know, what antinatalism is, is different, you know, fr from antinatalist to antinatalist. So, you know, um, the definition that you give, you know, could could be maybe closer to something like what Les Knight believes, where he wants human beings to go extinct, you know, but he wants the the humans, mm -hmm. uh, the, the animals to like inherit the earth. So, you know, in his mind, that would mean like the earth is is healthier in a sense, you know what I mean? Because it doesn't have this parasite of humanity on it. But then there are other antinatalists who mm -hmm. want all mm -hmm. life to mm -hmm. go extinct. You know that that all life is 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 basically the, the the you know negative because it produces all of this suffering. That's the biggest thing. But even there's even disagreement about that. Well, you you you, you, you need to create some chat, combine us all together, and let us uh, vote. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I, it's like how do you know really? Like how do you know? Uh, what's the better? So the question is, what's the better scenario, right? What's the better way of of dealing overall? Um, well. Yeah, I, I would agree with because uh, I do remember on on your podcast with uh, Joel Knight, right? Correct. Last night. Um, last night. Oh, last night. Yeah, that you, you at the end of that podcast, you had this little battle between each other. Uh, yes. <laughs> with, uh, you were you were advocating that yes, animals are suffering and their suffering is just uh, too brutal, I guess, for us, or, uh, at least even to observe. Right? For me, just like. 
uh, too yeah. much. But he, he said that human suffering is more deep, right? And we can, uh, even me, I was just like, uh, I was like last one and, a half, one and a half hours before our podcast, I was a bit worried and I, was, I couldn't like concentrate or anything. So I was just, you know, that sort of thing, right? And and, and if, if something is serious, something serious is going on or it or it's about to happen that we will, we will be uh able to uh, yeah endure like experience a lot of unpleasant things as well right so oh uh, <laughs> i don't know like i would i would i think i would stick with you as well so we need to wipe it off <laughs> yes <Awesome>. so, <laughs> yeah. i guess i guess i guess um uh, though i i would i would agree with his argument that uh, it's some sort of God's complex, right? That uh, how how can we really decide for them? Um, but mm, yeah, I mean, nature itself is uh, like it's just quoting Ligoria, right? It's it's just it's it's so harsh, and at the end of the day, it's so different from us, and it doesn't care about anyone. It seems like so. Maybe it's a good way. Maybe it's a bad way. Um, it's 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 I mean it's 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 a such a tough existential question uh, that uh, to be quite honest, yeah, like leads me into certain dead end where I where I don't know. It's like if we if we extinct ourselves, then we'll be not able to really care about anything. Like for us, life itself will disappear, will vanish, right? So there will be no problems at all. Um, don't know. Uh, it's a it's a complicated complicated question. It, it absolutely. What, what, what's your personal opinion? My personal opinion is that we we have a that we we should go extinct. We will go extinct, and through non procreation, we yeah sooner the, or later yeah we have the ability to do it in a very peaceful manner. You know what I mean? Like natural extinction is probably mm-hmm, going to be mm-hmm. really nasty and ugly, and so if we just don't produce more of yeah. ourselves, we have this ability to make our extinction a much more peaceful, suffering reduced thing and that if we go Mm -hmm, mm because i agree with you it's it's a difficult decision about what to do with the animals but i think my opinion which which is in contrary to to less is that we have a responsibility to make a decision for them at that point that Mm -hmm, if we mm -hmm. leave them to this world alone they're going to keep reproducing they're going to keep eating each other for and, and causing all this suffering to each other for billions of years or however long this planet will last. And mm-hmm. so we are sort of their only ticket out, you know, but how you do that is, you know, that's where things also get very contentious and, you know, that's very difficult too. But, um, but yeah, so it's, you know, Les and I, I, I think Les is fantastic and I have huge respect for the guy, but we, you know, th- at, our disagreements more come at this sort of like, what do you do at the very end? What is what is the end game of life on this this, mm-hmm. this planet look like? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he's 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 vehement. Yeah, and, and, and I'm, I'm what's called an ethicist. Yeah. Okay, and, and there's another question. I just I, I'm curious. Yes, to please ask go you. ahead. Yeah. Uh, do you really think that this um, this scenario that we we just get all together and instinct is possible because it's a war against the entire like the against the massive huge gigantic system of the of the world like it just uh, look at us like <laughs> like we, who who are we right uh and how 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 are we supposed to persuade them i like the idea but the question is is it actually you know doable i don't know i mean the the at the end of the day it's the right thing to do in my mind it's the right mm-hmm. thing to argue for um there is so much suffering in the world this is what I call kind of perfect prevention. It, you know, it, it, it's this, it, if we, if, if humanity, humanity is going to have to do some amount of this if it wants to survive. I mean, that's sort of the ironic part of this, that, that there's so mm-hmm. many of us, this planet is kind of going to hell in a hand basket, basically. So we, we have to, some amount of this argument is going to have to be made to all of humanity anyway. And so, I, you know, I, I, I want to see what we can do. I want to see how far we can go. I want to see, um, I, I, I think that even if it ends up being a failure, I'm at least satisfied knowing that I've made the argument, I think, for what would be best. Um, that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, we, mm-hmm. you know, that going out peacefully, as peacefully as possible, 
is is the best possible future scenario basically because i think that all mm-hmm. future scenarios are going to be kind of ugly and this is this is the this is the most peaceful route towards our end oh uh, yeah i but, but i would agree yeah i would i would i would agree with this um so 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 perf- basically like your 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 goal is to just eliminate this um, this condition of life we have overall because it's just too harsh for us, right? It's, yeah, it's, that, that, ba- that basically like the, the product that life creates is this massive ocean of suffering. It produces mm-hmm. a lot of other stuff too, but, but yeah, what yeah. I'm saying is that the suffering is what has all of this real value. You know, it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's what we would give anything to avoid. It's really where the value is. Um, and so, yeah, every, every, you know, it's, it's, everything is worth, uh making sure that that stops at some point mm-hmm, 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 yeah mm-hmm. yeah well i'm i'm with you <laughs> <laughs> cool <laughs> very cool do you feel that antinatalism intersects if at all with other social and ethical issues such as atheism the right to die and veganism um well what's it's a, I, I wouldn't i wouldn't say so um so i I, I used to indulge into veganism as well. And I think that um, right to die, <laughs> I don't think, I, I don't think so. I wouldn't say so. At least, I mean, I, I did listen to a couple of podcasts where people answered that question, but I have, I have nothing to deliver, unfortunately. Yeah. Here I, I see no, I see no problem because this, this idea <laughs> is that we are going extinct. What sort of, <laughs> disagreement you can you can you can still have you're 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 ready to extinct yourself like no i mean whatever um so yeah what do what do you mean dan uh like it's it's if you can really accept this idea that yeah indeed it's it's better that it's better for us to extinct um yeah like just all all the other questions there can they just disappear like, oh, I see what you're saying. Like, sure. Yeah. Yeah. You're about to, you know, wipe out yourself, wipe out yourself from, from this planet. So. Well, I mean, it, it, that is true. At the same time, I think we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I think humanity is going to be here for quite a long time still. I mean, I, I think. Oh, say, uh, say it again. I lost you a bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. I, I said, well, I, I, I understand what you're saying and where you're coming from. But I will say that I do believe, unfortunately, that we will be here for quite a long time yet. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't think that antinatalism at this point is, is, is doing any <laughs> amount of sure. winning. <laughs> yeah, it's not. So I, I think there's going to be uh, many generations, <laughs> you know, to come. Um, and so, you know, extinction is not going to be an option or a, or a viable, you know, solution to our problems for quite a long time. So something mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. the right to die, ah, so the, you know, then the might... question, how can, how can we evolve this uh, while, while, yeah, while not destroying the other concepts or like, well, while... yeah, like how, 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 how does it inform the way that we live, you know, going mm-hmm. forward? Like if, if you, if we believe that it's not right or, or unethical to create new people, then how does that inform how we should live? I think is the question. Like if it's like, mm-hmm. if, we, if we recognize that animals suffer, should we really be eating them? You know, if we recognize that life is just this product of a DNA molecule, does that inform there being a God or not? And if mm-hmm. it's wrong to produce people, doesn't that mean we should give people a way out? That's sort of where those questions are coming from, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But still, I have nothing to do just, just... Uh, empty inside no know. that's that's perfectly fine yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 i personally have no like no conflict inside me combining yeah those ideas no no anti-natalism kind of like yeah um it entered my system quite yeah um easy easy and without any um uh without any problems so yeah yeah yeah, very, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, yeah, no, that's interesting. I mean, I, I, I would, I would say I had like sort of a different maturation to it. Like, I, it really, um, it was like being kind of struck by lightning when I first discovered it, and I was like, really, I was like, how the hell am I going to add anything to this? Like, how the hell can I be vocal about this? And so, like, I took like a full year 
to just think about it, you know, and like make art about it because I was like, I just needed to process it. So it's, it's interesting to find somebody that just like, all right, this is. This is but, but, but because as, yeah. as you said, you have this stroke, right? This, this uh, strike of light, lightning, but be, I had it before, like because of my existential journey. So I, I like. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. I just like, whatever and another layer of yeah another layer into 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 the deep uh pitless void inside you <laughs> no problems you know put put anything yeah no that that, that makes a lot of sense i i never mm -hmm. was somebody that went through like a like a spiritual journey like i i just was sort of like born an atheist and i i just couldn't i couldn't swallow so much of like the spiritual stuff my whole life you know so um but I'm, I'm always, I'm, I really am genuinely fascinated by people that have had that experience. I mean, that was when, when you asked me on Telegram, like what some of my favorite books are, you know, I, I mentioned uh, books by Spalding Gray and he's, he's an author that like really reminds me of you, honestly, because he, he spent like so much of his life, like, all right. you know, going through all of these different spiritual ideas and stuff, trying to find the answer. And I mean, he certainly didn't land at antinatalism, but yeah, and it, I'll, have to, I'll have to send you some links to that stuff. Uh, so sorry, sorry, we got a little off, to, off, off target. I apologize. Um, in addition to being a philosophical position, antinatalism over the last 10 years or so has also become a developing social movement as well. And in 2019, antinatalist activism actually started to leave the barriers of social media. And we began to see the emergence of things more akin to traditional activism, such as street outreach, meetups, and mm -hmm. even the formation of, let's call them proto-NGOs, such as Child Free India, Stop Having Kids, Antinatalism International, which is my collective, and the AAPJ, which is the Association of Anti-Procreationism in Japan. Are you familiar with any of these developments? developments and either way what are your thoughts on this <laughs> no not not really um uh well I, i'll i'll just give you my genuine thoughts i i i don't think i would ever go and join some you know protest or some you know some some uh, exhibition whatever um I just I'm not sure whether to say it's 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 good or it's or it's bad or it's or we need more of this or we need less of this. Well, it's happening, right? That then it, it makes a certain sense for 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 some for some certain uh, purpose, some sort of reason. I, I'm just I wouldn't say that I I have this desire to you know like develop it to to put it more into masses because at the end of the day I. I don't think that I I I, I truly believe in the uh, in the in the change in the future change in the in the possibility of it. Um, once again, because like there's there's that question, well, like why exactly we're doing that? Isn't it another toy for us? You know, like another stick to just stick out from the society and say, hey, we just realized something. Hey, we're better than you because we know that uh, you humanity destroying everything and. Um, in this case, I is uh, the question is like is antinatalism is an, uh, another sort of uh, you know trick that our ego uses to survive to have certain goal to do something to 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 expand something you know to change something when as I see it uh, okay let's put it this way as I feel it there is just no need to change anything everything is just perfect so I definitely. Like, I like what's going on, but personally, I just don't feel like, you know, maybe adding up to to certain movement or, yeah. So I just, I created that video because I had, I got this spark inside me and I just, you know, I needed to express it. So, but uh, further than this, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's good or it's like beneficial. And I don't know how will uh, the broad public, uh, you know, respond to this. Don't know. No, no, that, that, that's more than fair, uh, Dan. I, I appreciate your thoughts on that. I mean, uh, this does bring me to, I know we're, we're not going to have a ton of time, I think, to go deep, deep, deep into this subject, but, you know, you, you have made a couple of videos on, on nihilism and, you, mm -hmm. you know, I, you, in some of your videos you have expressed, you know, sort of like every, like, like, as you just said, everything is sort of a, a, a toy and extension of the ego. I, I mean, I, I think, I, I, I don't really agree with that perspective. I mean, I think nature, mm -hmm 
is very clear about what positive and negatives are. I think the suffering is very real. And I, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't think everything is perfect. Like I think everything mm-hmm. is really, really, really broken. And in absence of a deity, <laughs> like we really are the only thing that could have any possibility of making any kind mm-hmm. of difference for the experiential things having an experiential reality. But, um, but I, you know, I am fascinated by the videos that you've made on the subject of nihilism. Um, do you consider yourself, do you still consider yourself a nihilist? No, and, no I wouldn't say so. No, okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> most, most nihilists wouldn't, right? <laughs> they don't wanna, do, and, and, but how did you arrive at that position, you know, after your long spiritual journey? Um, no, but just, just, just this feeling that everything is just utter, utter nonsense, and I just got dis, dis, disappointed by in anything. And nihilism like says, "Hey, yeah, everything is nonsense. Like there, there is no truth. There is just empty universe, and there is nothing there in, in inside that universe for you." Um, so it's in a way like expressed me uh, quite wonderfully at some point of time, uh, but now it's just another concept once again, and. But then once again, like how can you live without any concept, right? Being free from 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 any concept is another concept. So there's just collapse of the entire system. <laughs> I just I I genuinely don't know how to cope with this existence, and yeah, I don't, yeah. I really have no idea. But I would say that if you keep doing that, because I, I just know like if if there is certain energy, I would like to contribute to help maybe, right? To, 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 you know, to help you to, to, to get certain position point into, into some video or to edit something. So you can, you can still rely on me as a, as a maybe create as an editor or like as a, as a guy that can contribute, but yeah. yes. Uh, but and personally, I just don't believe in, uh, I just don't believe, you know, yeah, yeah. Overall. Well, nihilism is is one of like I I would say it is one of the most contentious kind of arguments between you know in in the world of antinatalism where there there are some antinatalists that are also nihilists. I mean, do you do you feel that they're compatible at all, or do you feel that they're totally <laughs> incompatible? <laughs> uh, I think they're quite compatible. Why? Like, if you, <laughs> I think the core of antinatalists. I mean, of anti-natalism is quite palpable for for nihilists. I, I, I think it's it's quite pretty much from the same universe of thought. Uh, but it just it just serves certain. Well, it seems like it serves quite a noble purpose, and that's that's in a way that's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to bring that by just not having kids and by not procreating and not producing another layer of, yeah, of this, um, uh, it was Ponzi scheme, right? Procre- procreation of Ponzi scheme. You, yeah, you're, you're automatically becoming extremely noble in my eyes, at least person, because it's, yeah. it's not an easy thing to do. Though my, for example, my mom, she completely disagrees with that. She says like, man, you should open your eyes and see how life beautiful <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, and then, you know. yeah, and then, and then a week later, after that, she, 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 like, she can, she can, she can tell me some horrible stories that, that happens with that happened with her and stuff. So, I don't know. Like, I see that if if you're capable of stop denying that life is not wonderful, and yeah, you're not. That doesn't matter. You're doing that through anti natalism or through nihilism. You're already like quite above of you know of the the common folk yeah and i and i guess i i meant to do this earlier i apologize but i mean there is i should make a distinction that there you know there's existential nihilism which i would also consider my myself i'm sure i mean most i think a lot of people are at this point but but then there's also like moral nihilism and there's or mm-hmm. ethical nihilism I mean, would you do you make a distinction between those two things uh, no 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 really i think i think okay. i think i i used to read a lot of existential one uh but i'm not sure what is moral uh I, to be quite honest at the end of the day i don't know what what philosophy is <laughs> it's, yeah it's just utter nonsense like what is this <laughs> philosophy <laughs> how does it help <laughs> right <laughs> why I, I i myself cannot really answer this question why do i read that stuff i don't know just just certain interests inside me but maybe it's useless i don't know i hear you i hear you well um oh sorry before we get I, 
get on to your, your, some more of your videos. What, what is the Goners Club? Can you tell me a little bit about oh. that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, Gunner, the Goners Club. The Goners uh, Club, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so originally I just wanted to, got, I just, when people started texting me with pretty much the same approach, with pretty much the same perception of life that I have, I got a bit blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. Uh, and that was really quite a big discovery. And um, as well was cut a bit from like worldwide supply of that sort of people because I used to dwell in, in Russian speaking world before. And, and it's a bit of a different story. But then I started making videos in English. I just realized, oh my gosh, there, there are so many people. And I, I was like, just let, let's just combine a club. So uh, that's a Telegram group where we just discuss certain ideas. Um, but there is really nothing special about that club. We just, you know, like a bunch of uh, lost guys talk about life. Nothing, nothing, not, nothing useful there going on. Just, just you know, fun and, 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 and very uh, philosophical approach to communicating with each other. Okay, I see. But is it also, are you making, you're making a documentary out of your experiences with them? Or perhaps I misunderstood. No, no, not really. No, okay, I, I, okay. I, I myself, I created that uh, club uh, and it, it, it doesn't really work, I would say, that uh, it works quite better when you just speak, like we do, right? Just between each other. But when you yeah. combine so many people um, with so many different views regarding meaninglessness of life we're living, it's it's just it doesn't work. It just to the the it just it just doesn't work. You know, like just, just yeah. pretty much the, the same situation with your podcast that that the, there are just too many opinions and they don't match each other. Simply, yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, I'd love to spend a little bit of time talking about your the first video on your on your channel, Child Free by Choice: right. Why I Don't Want to Have Kids from 2019 uh just such a moving video um i wanted to say how much i love oh. this this first video um you know it's, it's a really powerful little little film i mean even even in some ways it's 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 more raw you know than your later work um but yeah, actually, yeah. i actually did cry during part of this i mean i think you know it's oh it's, no uh, way really yeah because it's, it's you know, for, for those that haven't it's seen the best it phrase <laughs> Oh, yeah. you know, a hundred percent. I actually cried in several of your, 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 your videos. I just, I, I just think the way you express yourself is very moving. Um, but you, I mean, yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. But I mean, it, you know, most of the, the video is you writing this, this letter, like to your unborn child. And yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just beautiful. I mean, can you tell me a little bit about I mean, how this particular piece came about? Yeah. Uh, I can tell you what triggered me that uh, to create that that sort of uh, video. So, um, so I, I I had certain friends and and they decided to 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 procreate, right? To to make a baby, and then I was I had the. So I mean, the baby is so nice, like everything is so sweet, and and everything is so wonderful and stuff. And um, then I had a conversation with them and I asked them. So hey guys, like what 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 really like triggered you? What 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 inspired you? And they 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 replied to me like, well, like we, well we just like you know we have our jobs and we have place to live and and it's all good and we just realized that yeah we just we're going back from from our works and 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 what? And then I just realized, oh my gosh, they, they just solved their existential crisis. Like the first minute they bumped into the, the living truth of their existence, that it just really makes no sense. They just solved it this way. And, and this, this, this created such a, like such a piercing pain inside me that this is how people do. My, my, my friends, you know, like I, I love them. I, like I still, they are still my friends, but... But it just completely disappointed me, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, how do I deal with this?" And apart from that, yes, my 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 granny discovered that she she has a con cancer, and and it was like, and it was overall like, I was like, "What are you doing, life? Like, what 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 are you doing against us? Why are you so like? Why why are you why why do you hate us? Why we're so good? I mean, I I was just like doing my best all my life to be pure, to be good, to be a wonderful person. But why you're attacking us this way? Why? So this is what triggered my entire epiphany, so to say. Um, yes, and I just 
yeah, I got so confused. I was like, why would you do that? So yeah, that's that's what 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 was lying on underneath my inspiration. And I do remember, I just do remember when I when after this talk with my friends, I just came back home and I just fell down on my floor and I was just lying, you know, like just you just cuddling myself. I was like, what's going on? Just is it how it works? And it seems like it is how it works. People don't really like they don't bloody thing <laughs> they just whatever let's do that i'm i'm horny or, or, or i don't know what to do with my existence and 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 this is why yeah i i, I would say that i am an anti-natalism at the end of the day right like so yeah this is why yeah thank you so much for your perspective into that um i'm so sorry about your grandmother and yeah it's 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 very difficult uh to, you know when you when you have friends that make this decision seemingly out of thin air to sort of fix yeah, their yeah, own yeah. lives, but don't consider the life of the, the child at all. And it, it, it's devastating. It really is. I mean, I, I, yeah. I, but the child is so nice. He's, he's, oh, he's yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, and, and they're so wonderful and all, all I, like, there's nothing wrong with the, like I, I think about them, but just, yeah. just the way I reacted. Right. Sure. Right. I mean, this is what people do, right. You know, it's like, it's, mm -hmm. it, they're, they're just as much, they're just caught up in, a thing that human beings do without but it's a shame that people don't think about it more um yeah were, yeah, were yeah. you were you already aware of antinatalism when you made this movie <laughs> Look, Interesting. Come on. i was like i was i was checking uh child free and i was like oh my gosh that's we're so like uh uh modern progress look at like progressed you know um so yeah that that sort of i mean i was i was excited even about child free uh, movement. I was. I thought it's it's already like a big step forward, yeah. but I I didn't really find any argumentation in in child free movement except of like yeah we just don't want right um, or maybe yeah it's 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 not very healthy for uh, for the environment. Uh, but anti natal I, I I just more pers like personally like it more because it's some way more intelligent an intelligent approach toward this uh, entire field question. Right, right, absolutely. I mean, ha, did did you get any reaction from this movie from like child free circles online? Like, did you share it around on like you know different? No, I don't even like know that. where to send it. <laughs> if, yeah. if you, if, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you if you if you can provide me certain links, I, I would I would I would do that for sure. But yeah, I mean, I um, yeah, I was I just posted that video. Uh, J Jasper, the guy from the telly, like this, our son from the yeah. Yeah, he 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 shared. I guess he posted on Reddit or something. That's I guess that's why it it, it has almost two k views right now, which is the best result I got so far for like yeah, twenty fifteen days after posting the video. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, but no, I'm I'm not very big on you know contributing uh, like to to sp on spreading my stuff. I kind of like post it and YouTube does the rest of it. And I see. Yeah. Reddit was what I was going to suggest, but yeah, 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 that's that. No, that makes perfect sense. So let's let's move on a little bit to to uh, to to the movie of the hour. Why why it's better not to exist antinatalism mini movie. So as I said before, just I really have to repeat it. I love this movie. It's so well made. Mm -hmm. It's such an interesting way of creating a narrative out of the philosophy. Well shot, well edited, well acted. Just totally brilliant, I think, and very inspiring. Um, would you mind telling our audience who has perhaps not seen it yet, like what the plot of this this little film is? about oh yeah so you you have a you have imagine you're a family and and, and you don't know you you feel like procreating but you're not exactly sure you, you you're a bit like worried about that and anxious about that and then uh you you have a chance out of blue you 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 got in, in introduced to an opportunity to participate in a beta testing of uh certain yeah like technical solution on how to communicate with the mind of your future child. So yeah, so they, they have a chance uh, to speak with their not yet born baby, but this baby is able to basically communicate and fully grasp like yeah, the entire like uh, thing. So yeah, so it's like it's 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 like a conversation with your future, the the one that you are so worried about. Yeah, it's just such a it's such, it's just such a great way of 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 narrativizing the the, the issue. I, I, I did, <laughs> did did you did you do all the computer animation bits yourself, or was that your cinematographer uh, that did that? 
uh, so the entire thing was on me. Uh, okay. Regarding uh, some graphic we created just from zero, from scratch, just to sh like just to express uh, the thoughts better. And some of them I downloaded from different talks, but I adjusted them all. So I never just really used one element, just put it on top like a B-roll, you know. Uh, no, I, 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 I mean, I, yeah, I put some some work uh, with uh, to 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 adjust it all to make it all meaningful to make it more seamless, you know, in a way. Right, right, right. Of course, um, Jasper, the the unborn yeah. AI child. Who, uh, by the way, I just want to say, I really the actor that played him, I thought was fantastic. I, absolutely, absolutely. I thought he did an amazing I, job. Yeah, absolutely. When I found him, I was like dude <laughs> yeah yeah I was, I was like so there is an idea would you like to participate and she, she was like yeah for sure i'm down for it <laughs> i was like oh my gosh because I, I mean i don't know he, he he's just unfortunately he's not aware of his tremendous talent and he he's he reacts all the time like well, all right thank you uh but but yeah i, I think he's 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 he like the amount of joy he delivered to me is it just it just like yeah and, and i'm speechless he, he he made it um yeah he and, and, and he he's in australia right he's he's not here in turkey okay. so so he he bought a, a a green shade he 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 said he like he created everything for me basically right without me participating directly and and i didn't really ask him to re-record many things so he he just delivered it the way i felt and yeah i'm i'm, I'm very lucky with him yeah, a tremendous find, a tremendous find. I, I hope that he'll perform more, be in more things because he's really very yeah, talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But yeah, so I mean, he, Jasper, the, the AI child, I mean, makes many arguments, you know, to his parents about why he should not be brought into existence. I mean, for you, what arguments for antinatalism do you feel to be the strongest? Because I, I really appreciated how many different you know, different, different angles, you know, you, you jab them with. I thought that was really impressive. All right. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I would say definitely this asymmetry between um, pleasure and pain. I heard in one of your podcasts that uh, David Benatar, he said that it's not yeah. asymmetry between pleasure and pain, but more like between harm and, um, and some, harm and good right but yeah i just always felt and still feel that if something good happens it at least just bloody 30 minutes and that's it and 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 that's it but if something bad happens you experience it for for months years like and, and it, it bothers you so much so i guess this is the the most i i, I don't think that as as chiron said he said that the only real feeling uh is pain the the less is just you know it's 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 superficial it's it's just it's ridiculously small compared to pain and apart from that um i would say just if you just observe a bit um the uh, the contribution to the to uh, you know to, to the amount of waste and trash we create i guess those two are like the, the the strongest one for me um yeah and life is meaningless that's the other one <laughs> it's just which is hard for me as a man for example I, I mean life is not interesting without goals right but if if there are no games to play what for what do i do what what will drive me right into into another day um yeah so yeah, i guess those are like the hardest for me yeah so yeah, I, I I was very impressed to see zero sum game mentioned. I mean, that's that's not. One I, that... I, I I put it differently. I put it negative sum game. That's I right. Yes. Thank you for the question. He, he he, Benatar put it uh, this way. Yeah, zero sum game. But I would say it's a negative one. Uh, though you gain certain, you know, like property or whatever. But I I, I truly think it's it's in minus. You 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 pay a lot with the, with your stress, with your pains, with your yeah. So yeah, that's how I see. It. What what do you um, I mean one what this is not a, a criticism against the the dialogue but one thing that I thought was om, you know it, it it was in what he said but he didn't say uh -huh. it specifically was consent 
So consent is one of the biggest arguments, um, you know, for antinatalism that it, that that create a, a, a child is against against consent, and 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 the parents are asking for consent, you know, to to procreate the child. I mean, do you what do you? I mean, it, and and the whole film is basically an argument for consent. But was that was that conscious? I mean, were you were you thinking about the consent argument in in detail? Uh, first, were... can, can you just briefly explain what is consent? I, I'm not I'm not familiar with this word. Sure. So uh, so you know, often people um, talk about consent in terms of sex. Like if if you know you have people have to consent to have sex with each other. If ah, okay. So like like an agreement or like, an agreement. Like, yeah. Like, ah, okay. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, well, I mean, it's it it. The, uh, could you please explain what's what's what 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 what's the the problem you see with this? I, I mean, I'm I'm all right. I'm absolutely open to any sort of criticism. Uh, just... No, no. It, it it I was I was I was interested in how the whole film was an argument for consent, basically. Like they mm -hmm, were trying mm -hmm. to get the consent of the child to bring the the child into existence. And he denies them that consent. Right. But I just thought yeah. it was interesting that the word consent was never like actually brought up. And I don't ah, think that that's okay. a weakness of the no, film. I just thought it was yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I get it. No, no, no. I never thought about that. And, and I think I, it was it was out of my notes. I, I, I never really, really bumped into this consent Fascinating. thing. Fascinating. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was, I was more, I just, I just found a way how I can combine all the arguments into something yeah. uh, seamless and flowy in a way wavy and yeah and it's just yeah, yeah. i mean I, the, this the script itself uh i could i could improve it but i, <laughs> I mean i did my best i i, I, I wrote it perfect. and i was like i think it's perfect seems good you know seems yeah. good yeah but no, I, yeah. I i really didn't mean it as a criticism at all i just thought it was so interesting how it uh -huh. you, you were making that argument but it was never said you know in in explicit terms i mm -hmm. i think you know because the film covers so many different kinds of arguments it's actually a, an excellent like introduction to antinatalism for people i know yeah, it's yeah, probably yeah. probably not your 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 uh what you were trying to get out of it but i mean it's no i, I, I i'm all right with this since I, I i myself got just introduced to this thing so it was yeah. just barely enough arguments to create certain introduction for my own audience yeah uh because i just got introduced myself so it's wonderful if i can you know put it into this niche yeah i mean i i i i actually it's very hard to like you know when people are interested in the philosophy people ask me about it it's very hard to know what to send them you know because mm -hmm. you, you can't really just hand people benatar's book most of the time they don't want to they don't want to yeah. they don't want to read that whole thing Absolutely. so this is perfect you know yeah yeah and then regarding benatar's book uh, it was actually not a, not 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 a very easy read, so to say. So it it's was, not. It, no. Yeah, yeah. So I, I found this. That, that's what triggered me as well. So I was like, well, it's an interesting idea. It's 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 an amazing thing for me to read. But 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 just as a you know as a entertainment, it's just to I don't know dry in a way. So yeah, I just yeah. So it's I just decided to add some life into that. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Um, you mentioned, you know, that you were very inspired by Thomas Ligotti's The Conspiracy Against the Human Race. I know we spoke a little bit about this already, yeah. but I was just wondering if you could tell me more about, you know, specifically how Ligotti's work influenced this piece. <laughs> the, his style is so dark, you know, like he's, he's just, uh, and I was listening to an audio book and just the way it was narrated, the, the, the words he uses there in, in that book, my gosh i was like oh my gosh i and it's such a poeticness such a yeah. such a, such a depth you know uh i i guess i i got inspired by him mostly i got this i got this fire from him and uh, benatar's book just tricked uh triggered it you know so for me i just i just i personally liked uh, there was nothing exactly what i remember from that book um but just the style itself, like the the, the mood you you dip yourself in, um, is just like I found it quite just genius uh, in a way. Yeah, yeah. No, it I, it just it made me happy that you brought him up at all, but just because it, it it it's it's interesting to me, like how you know this is the fifty eighth episode of this podcast, and um, I don't really hear people bring up Legati all that much, which is I just always find so interesting. So I'm glad that but it was he's such like. A, 
proper anti-natalistic. Like, oh it's yeah, just, like, big time. Big it's just, time. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and 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 if someone is searching for that sort of read, oh, I would highly recommend uh, to indulge into this, and especially listening to you know, to the audio book of ah, that's Krim de la Oh Krim. yes, 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 yeah. yes, absolutely. <laughs> I highly recommend that as well. Um, I mean, just within the the world that this film takes place. I mean, I, I know this mm -hmm. is reading far too much into it, but I'm just curious if you have any thoughts on this. Yeah, like, like, do you think it would be possible? that a set of parents could like ignore the plea of their unborn child to remain unborn and like have the kid anyway. Like what would, <laughs> what would that storyline look like? like? Oh, it's, it's actually, that would be so nice if you asked me. I think I would show myself uh, laying on the floor, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> struggling once again to accept that the people, <laughs> the people are not dreaming by anything worth, worth of, uh, you know, like believing in. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but it's 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 quite a good perspective like the, the more we're going into that the more it, it, it's 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 a worth selling to black mirror scenario you know right <laughs> because, right right yeah 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 uh yeah for me was that was that, that point was enough i wanted him i yes, wanted him to say no guys wake bloody up yes uh so yeah uh but that's an interesting perspective. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, that's have nothing against that. It's, that's an interesting. Uh, like that's that's the one that inspires certain, uh, certain interest in me. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was just like a, a side, you know, quest of of thinking about that world. I could I couldn't help but think of. So yeah. No, yeah, thank yeah. you for your thoughts on that. Um, because the the movie deals with the idea of like a sentient AI program of sorts. I, I'm curious if you had any thoughts on what's sometimes called digital antinatalism, that being like the, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, being against the creation of sentient mis machines. I mean, would you, would you also kind of, uh -huh. and, and the film is an argument against that, you know, incidentally. Yeah, yeah. kind of, in a way, actually, I got so blown away when I first discovered it once again through your uh, podcast. I was like, digital, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I would say that, first of all, it's, how do I know that they're they're like they're AIs that are capable for feeling really feeling? It's, it's I think it's like it's, it's it's such a huge road for us uh, still yeah. to cover. I'm not sure, maybe I'm mistaken, but uh, I just apart it it would make certain sense. I would I would as well care about that, um, but since there are no real evidence that this sort of thing exists um it's a tricky one it's once again it's, 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 it's such a mind-blowing perspective huh oh yes. like, yeah like because it's because because it's it it is artificial yet it feels and this it, it leads to another question back to ligotti he put it in in, in in his book that we're not from here we are not from this planet uh, we, we don't belong to this nature. We don't belong to this mother earth. We, we're, we're, we're searching for aliens, you know, like trying to find them, but we are aliens because, because we're capable of really caring about something superficial that can feel like us. Isn't it bloody cool, but mind blowing as well. Like for me, it's just like, it's just boom. It's a yeah. huge explosion of the entire value system. What to do? I don't know. Um, but it's it's definitely an interesting question. But since there there is no real um, there is no real product that would function like that, it's hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, how would I feel? But I watched. Uh, there is a movie called Ex Machine. Um, I, I personally felt nothing toward the robot. Though she 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 she's like fully sane. She seems like she she the, the, their purpose was right to create a sentient robot and to make it as human as possible. Um, I think yeah, like uh, at certain point, if if humanity is able to create that sort of robot, well, that would be really no 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 real difference between us and robots that. That, that function fully like us. Well, where is the difference? I don't, I don't see it. Right, right. Frankenstein is Frankenstein, right? No matter what Frankenstein's yeah. made out of. You can, I mean, you can talk with him. You go, 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 go and go and, you know, go out, have fun right. with him. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Can be your best friend. <laughs> Better yeah. than those folks, you know? <laughs> so, yeah.
<laughs> right, right, right. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm glad that you brought up my next question had to do with that line because we are apparently not from here. And I, yeah. I was that was the what was a line in the movie that really stuck out to me because I wasn't I really wasn't sure what you meant by that. Were you saying that like and I, I had I had not remembered at all that Ligotti had said mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. So uh, were you and I don't remember what Ligotti I mean, I know you just gave an explanation of it, but I mean, do, do you do you actually think that like we're from some other planet or like how, <laughs> how you know I I mean I didn't really think you did but I just wonder I just wondered what how that line yeah, was of offered. course it's, it's yeah. some sort of <laughs> that would be very naughty of me you know? uh, um, so uh, just based on my observations right we're the only like just like we are the only species that pollutes everything around us that is completely disinterest in anything still around us though every other species is completely right look at dogs look at cats they can see they can lay down the entire day doing nothing they're right with this so and i guess we're just we don't know what to do with this nature well that's this is why we're not from here we're we're, we don't know what to do with ourselves we don't know what to do with with just sheer awareness of our of us just being here we it just drives us crazy that's what i meant that we're not from here. And that's why I truly don't believe in humanity overall. Like I, I, I completely lost any hope because of our core, because of our, yeah, like not not from here, you know, so to say. That makes perfect sense. I mean, basically what it's what you're saying with that is that like we're 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 aberrants, like we're freaks, we're like we're, we're freaks Absolutely. of nature. Yeah, no, that Absolutely. makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like and 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 there's a there is another video coming. I Oh, good. I call us, uh, I, 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 uh, in one of the children's books, uh, he said that nature made a crime against herself by letting that miscalculation happen. And by miscalculation, he means us. So yeah, this is what I meant, I guess. Oh, I, I can't wait for that. That sounds amazing. Um, yeah. So you, you already talked a little bit about like the other actors were on board with it. You had no pro- you got really lucky finding an actress that was like on board with it. That Jasper was was cool with it. So that's uh-huh. awesome. I'm 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 glad that you know all all the pieces like fell into place in that kind of in that kind of way. What kind of reactions has the movie got so far? You know, especially from uh, those that were already familiar with like your your past work. All right. So so we had a screening right after I finished the video with all the actors with everyone who contributed somehow. And, and they were, you know, they were applauding. Up, up, up and I was like, oh my gosh. Because I, I, they were like, well done, boy. I was like, sorry, but I just said that uh, we shall go and sing. <laughs> they were like, yeah, well done. I was like, oh my gosh. So, like, it's it's hard to say because I because I introduced, I sent it to my brother as well. And my brother replied, uh, well, it's it's a great idea, but I still want the kid. Uh, I was like, all right. So it's it seems like you know that there are people that are naturally attracted to that, and they will naturally be interested into this. But uh, I just don't think that I truly think that we can definitely affect people, but we cannot really affect their course. They are either into that stuff or not. Uh, but so far, just uh, by showing my friends my sort of stuff, they'll say. That's great. That's amazing. Too pessimistic though, but overall, you're you're a great guy. Yeah. So that's 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 their reaction. So far, it was so positive because I was like, I was I was preparing myself for for a blame, you know, for yeah, for for, for a fight. And and I I myself I don't know how to. I, I truly don't know. How, with you, it's easy, right? We're in agreement, but I don't know how right. to protect my sort of value system or the absence of it. I don't know how to call it. Uh, when there is someone around me saying something different. I don't know. I have nothing to reply. So yes, but so far it was good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear. Well, you know, I have to say for my own part, like when I made the F list and when I've shown it to people, I'm always shocked that most of the time the reaction is really positive. And it's like, really? But didn't you hear what I said? (laughs) You know, so it's I, I kind of a mind so blowing event. Yeah, <laughs> I am so with you. Did I you believe. hear what I've said? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but, uh, no, but when I was watching your movie, I was like, 
oh my gosh what a talent like the amount of costumes you created i was like i, I was i was so deep. i was even proud of you i was like wow oh, thank you yeah 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 so it's it's great and it's it's it's, it's, it's just such actually a precious thing as a uh, that as a creators even though we're we're very dark ones like siths siths but that's creators uh, still, yeah but still we're like getting some good feedback that's amazing yeah 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 it's 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 good it's good to know that people are even if they disagree they can take it in in some kind of way they can absorb it they can i i think that's a real that's a really wonderful thing to have discovered that like art can give you that ability to have these very difficult conversations with people that you could mm -hmm. you could never really get out of them any other way absolutely absolutely and the thing is that i showed this this mini movie to my mom and the thing is my mom doesn't speak English. oh okay <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of expressed myself fully. I explained her everything, but she didn't get it though. <laughs> but anyway, so it's it's such a wonderful way. Yeah, like I would I would encourage everyone if you feel like introducing your friends to that idea, please don't be serious. You will get such a strong um, yeah re repulse, you know, repulsion toward toward all your ideas. Be goofy as possible or creative as possible. Like yeah, just just put it in in a very you know entertaining way. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. And be 100%. ready. Be, be, be ready for for everything. <laughs> Don't be ready for everything. And 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 yeah, I I think it's an incredibly important tool that comedy can be a way in if you can kind of disarm the scariness of all of this. It's it's at yeah. least a way of uh, in into the conversation. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, what what do you most hope that people will come away with? You know, after having watched the movie. <laughs> I would, it's, it's okay. It's 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 a it's a <laughs> very abstract answer, but with a little bit more beautiful souls, like a little right. bit more. So with 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 more, mm, mm, you know, I'm a very huge fan of Terence Malick's uh, cinematography, and and I watch his movies just for the sake of just getting the mood of it, you know, enjoying the classical music, the poeticness, the like the angles, the. The, the, the perspective of very tender soul that's what I would like people to get this um this spirit you know this 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 spirit uh that um yeah, this pure spirit I, I I I don't want to put it in any other perspective uh like what 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 I'd want them to think uh or whatever just just I just want them to feel uh that's that's my as a creator that's my um uh, goal yeah i i can understand that completely i think well i think you know too it's like you know you're i, I maybe I'm, i don't mean to speak for you but i mean it's like you know the idea of watching an unborn human life on a television screen screen you know it like just this essence of like a would-be human being and the idea of it just being so fragile like pleading with you not to you know that's there, there's a re, I, I think in all of antinatalism but i think in the way you've expressed it too there's like there's a, a a plea for people to respect that fragility you know like you know, yeah like, yes, like, yes, like people yes. Need oh to, my gosh thank people you people need to like pause oh my before gosh they create more uh, fragility is that oh. my, that, uh, thank you thank you for your <laughs> yeah, that just yeah you just pierced my entire being with with your words yeah i mean that's 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 how i that's what i want to, wanted to say in a way yeah wonderful i'm i'm i'm, I'm glad i'm glad i i'm glad i i'm I, I got it a little bit then okay great yeah, <laughs> <I'm glad>. yeah. <laughs> so have, because, because there's no. there's that feeling sorry that 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 mm -hmm. that, that i'm Am I alone with this? Yes, with this, with this like sensitive sensitiveness toward that sort of topics, and it seems like no, it's, it, it inspires. No, it absolutely inspires. You're 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 not alone. I I I I think I yeah, absolutely not. Um, have you ever shown any of your films at film festivals? No, nah, not really. But I wouldn't mind to. I wouldn't mind to. If if if, if, you, if you can suggest me some, I guess. Uh. <laughs> well, well, as as we've spoken about a little bit last year, I did start an event, which I hope will be ongoing called the Antinatalist Film Festival. And I just want to put it out there mm -hmm. that you have an absolute, you know, open invitation to show your films there anytime we have it. I'm, I'm working. Yeah, on yeah, getting I, a, I would I would like that. 
Great. Yeah. I just I, need to. I just need to fit, 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 fix subtitles because I <laughs> since I'm not a native, not a native English speaker. I just <laughs> yeah. I can help with bit. that. I can help with that if you're. All right. If you're all, right all right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No worries. Okay. That sounds great. That sounds so. Uh, so truth catcher, do you believe yeah. you have caught the truth? <laughs> there is no. <laughs> <laughs> so how can so that's why I put it. That's why that's why that's where I, I called myself a truth catcher. I just like catch something and let it go. <laughs> and that's it. Uh because what is there is there to do uh, to do? I mean, I just I still need to exist, I still need to play certain games, I still need to be excited about. So yeah, my game is you know, like I'm just catching butterflies. Oh, this one is cool, this one is cool. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Uh but Oh, let's get a little, a, bit, a little bit more serious about your question, but it feels like, right? It feels like at least I found certain core or the absence of it, but ser- ser- something that I was uh, eagerly searching for uh, all those times. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. No, I, I had a feeling you'd answered the, that, this question this way. No, thank you. Um, do you think that the subject of antinatalism will remain an important part of your work moving forward? I would say so, because I, I'm not sure whether I will put it into souls of antinatalism, anti-natalism all the time. Uh, yeah. But I guess it's just an unseparable part of um, I, I I think because I guess my mind my, my second video is pretty much the same like you yeah I, I, just, I can quote uh, one of the lines like I said I say oh nature why did you permit us to invade your holy lands was it what a mistake a crime against yourself committed but by the vigor of your own hands so it's pretty much the same story right I think it's I will, I will not be able to separate it yeah. um yeah I think so I, I'm that's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing for an artist to, you know, I, I've, I've had exactly the same experience with this subject. It's an incredible thing for an artist to come across an idea that, you know, mm-hmm. just becomes mm-hmm. so much a part of your core. So I'm, I'm happy for you. I mean, I think that's a wonderful thing. Um, so it, aside from this, the second video that, that you're going to put out soon, I mean, what, mm-hmm. what does the future hold for your work? I mean, what, what can we expect? Uh, what are you working oh, on? I wish, I wish I knew I'm working yeah. I'm doing my heart. Nowadays, I'm reading uh, Brothers Karamazov's uh, written by Dostoevsky. It's oh, sure. just hard for me. I, I, I can't really um, I can't really produce videos on a daily basis or like on a weekly basis. It's uh, it's not my source of income. So that, that's why I'm not interested in anything even distantly ingenuine. You know, I I first accumulate certain 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 information certain perspective and then it just goes out of me like it just it just you know evaporates in the form of uh, that video so i never really know i i i can guarantee that i will produce it because i i that's that's the like so far it's the only thing that really uh matters to me but what exactly because i mean even though i posted that video right with uh, this mini movie and then you texted me and that that, that 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 story progresses by itself i i'm not in control i have no like i i let it go you know right. that's it i'm i'm in a free flow i i i, I yeah I, I do feel like it's 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 a, this channel is a big story for me but what exactly will happen to this channel i don't know well, I can't. I can't wait to see what whatever direction it takes, whatever you produce yeah, in the yeah, future. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely yeah. be watching. Uh, highly recommend people go and subscribe to the Truth Catcher. The the link below will will be there. So definitely go subscribe to Dan. Uh, Dan, where can people find more of your work, and how can your audience best support you? Uh, well, well, yeah, check out my YouTube channel. Apart from that, uh, yeah, I. I don't really use any other social medias, you know, like just Telegram as a, as a and WhatsApp as a um, as a way of communicating. But yeah, just YouTube. That that's more than enough. You watch it, subscribe if you like, and yeah, that would be nice. Let's be friends. Yeah, wonderful. Let's let's, let's live long and die out. There you <laughs> go. Together. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I personally, I when when I bumped into that slogan, I was like, 
bloody hell how genius it is yeah. it's perfect isn't uh, it i know i, I love i love the just, ve- vehement got there's certain things that vehement has gotten right that uh, just are mwah, beautiful like yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, perfect yeah. um was there anything else like about your your future work or about some of the pieces you've already made that we maybe didn't touch on that you wanted to say you know you think about the the mini no, movie I, I feel quite quite expressed um uh, i think i delivered everything i was thinking about uh so yeah no nah, that's that's it Okay, wonderful. Well, uh, Dan, I, you know, I really think you're, you're like one of a kind. I really do. I think you capture something that I don't think I've ever really seen anybody quite capture in the same way that you have. This incredible thirst for like beauty and for the things and places and people that move you, this insatiable need to create and explore and to understand uh, and yet all the whole while, like projecting the entire game, you know, because you're smart enough to see through it. And it's really inspiring uh, for somebody like me. I think it's an invaluable portrait of a life that you've given the world. Uh, and so I just really want to thank you for everything and, and for that you've that you've made and shown us so far. I've, I very much look forward to you know, the future of your work. And I just want to say thank you so much for being my guest today on the Exploring Antinatalism oh, podcast. That's, that's, a, that's an honor for me. Yeah. And thank you so much. Please keep, keep doing that because I personally found your, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just a newbie, right? Just, just, just arrived basically, but uh, yeah, I'm listening with interest. So keep, keep doing that's just, that's just amazing. Hope you'll find more things to explore, to discover, and yeah, to, to, to enrich this uh, YouTube channel and hope it will never be blacked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know. Oh, me too, me too, me too. Well, thank you so much. The, 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 the pleasure yeah. and the honor has been all mine. Just thank you for everything that you do. And, and yeah, thank you so much for all your time today. I, I really appreciate it so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Please subscribe to The Truth Catcher on YouTube. Thank you for listening to the Exploring Antinatalism podcast. This has been Amanda Oldfan Sukunik. You can find me on the YouTube channel, Antinatal Wolf. Keep up with my daily antinatalist news updates at Antinatal News on Twitter. Please follow the podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You can listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Buzzsprout, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Amazon.com, RSS Feed, and so many other platforms. Email me at exploringantinatalism at gmail.com. The podcast website, www.exploringantinatalism.com, was designed by the amazing Visions Noirs. Please follow him at www.bionoir.com and also follow him on Instagram. Logo art by the amazing Life Sucks. Subscribe to him on YouTube and check out his merch at www.etsy.com slash shop slash Life Sucks Publishing. Music by the wonderful I Doubt It. Subscribe to him on YouTube. And check out our collaborative project along with our friend Ethel WV, The Right to No Longer Exist, which includes the podcast, The Right to No Longer Exist, A Right to Die podcast. All the best and bye for now.